Desk setups have become such a big thing over the past couple of years, and if you're like me, chances are you're deep in the rabbit hole that's desk iterations, be it upgrading your peripherals and accessories, desktops, the list goes on and on. A couple of weeks back, my good friends at Desk reached out, and from that, they offered to send me some of their desk essentials, and to my absolute delight, I said yes. In this video, I take you through a step-by-step -step process of my desk setup upgrade, so buckle up, and let's go for the ride. I know the question running through your head is, why am I even upgrading when everything looks perfectly fine? Hear me out. If you're a bit OCD like me, you'll start picking up even the smallest of things, and while my IKEA Kalbi served me well, at 180cm it didn't quite cover my Alex drawers and I wanted them to fit flush underneath my desk, hence the upgrade to a 200cm walnut desktop from Desky. Secondly, the thought of having premium hardware as my desktop couldn't just slide past my mind. As for the monitor stand, even though my girl-made monitor stand looks good, I wanted something different and then again, throw in the word premium hardwood and I couldn't resist. With that out of the way, let's get into the build process. To start it off, I disconnected all my accessories and peripherals, then removed them from my desk. I then unmounted my monitor from the desk, but left it on the monitor arm since setting up is quite a process. From there, I removed my IKEA Alex Ross, then turned the desk upside down, after which I unscrewed the control module, the legs, and the cable management tray. Next in line was screwing them on the new desktop. Setting up was pretty easy. After laying down the walnut desktop, I put the individual parts on it, measured and marked the allowance for my IKEA Alex drawers immediately after, after which I started the assembly. I started with one leg and repeated the process for the other side before finishing off with the rest of the parts. With the build process out of the way, it was now time to dust up and marvel at the new desk and boy was I impressed. I mean, just look at that. The look of the hardware just gets me ticking and for few good reasons. Starting with the uniqueness this particular piece has from the beauty of the grain and its one of a kind imperfections to the contrasting brown and black streaks of the walnut that are brought to life by the luxurious high polished finish, this hardware desktop just stands out. Moving further down, the desktop rests on a dual seat stand frame made from steel and is ergonomically designed to provide a height range for most users by using the control module. The press interface allows you to adjust the desk by holding the up and down buttons or by setting up to 4 programmable settings to automatically get to the sitting and standing heights. Speaking of heights, the different heights are issued by the help of motors which are concealed seamlessly within each leg to distribute power evenly when lifting while keeping the components protected. To give you guys some perspective on how strong they are, I'm no small block. Weighing in a few kilograms shy of the 110 mark, these motors lift me like a piece of paper without even heaving. You might think that's it, but this desk key accessories continue to give. The cable management tray not only helps with cable management, but also comes with power board slots for additional power supply, and I have two power board slots plugged in them. Moving along, it was now time to deck out the desk with my desk accessories and peripherals. I started with my monitor of choice, the Samsung Odyssey Neo G9, to provide an anchor point for the rest of my peripherals. After that, I assembled the monitor stand and placed it underneath the monitor. Made from hardware walnut, it not only adds a bit of extra storage, but also adds the much needed visual structure. Underneath it, I placed my grommet desk tray, then right in front of it, my steampunk keyboard and mouse, all resting on a great desk mat and grommet mouse pad respectively. Ergonomics being an important part of my setup, my keyboard has a custom wrist rest and the Capio 2.0 for my mouse. By the way, another reason for my upgrade, my keyboard wrist rest used to stick out, but thanks to the size increase of my new desktop, it fits perfectly. From there, my desktop speakers, levitating plant, headphone stand, broadband mark safe charger, vintage telephone regain their positions. I also mounted back my microphone boom arm, then added my Blue Yeti microphone before adding the BenQ screen by Halo and Insta360 Link webcam on top of my monitor. The last items to put back in place were my IKEA Alex drawers. With everything back on the desk, it was now time to cable manage. When it comes to the tools of trade in this department, they vary depending on your setup, although the staples are zip ties, cable clips, double sided tape, velcro tape, cable raceways, just to name but a few. A saying that best sums up cable management is out of sight, out of mind, and the goal is always to make sure one cable comes from your desk into the main power outlet. So after plugging in everything, I directed all the wires to my M1 Mark Mini and the loose ones into my cable management tray. From there, I mounted my CalDigit TS3 Plus underneath the desk, and the beauty about it, you only need one cable connected to your computer. After that, I cleaned up the cable mess behind my IKEA Alex drawer, and I was good to go. Just in case you haven't watched it, I recently did an in-depth cable management guide, so if you want to deep dive into cable management, I'll leave a link of the video in the description box. I have no doubt you'd agree with me, a setup isn't complete without a nice comfy chair. 
My Imps office chair remains as my trusted lieutenant and for two main reasons. Aesthetically, it blends so well with the ongoing theme, and in terms of ergonomics, it ticks all the boxes in my book. Before we wrap it up, if you're an Apple ecosystem fan like me and have any of the Apple computers, you should try out Clean My Mac. Clean My Mac is the one-stop shop for a host of Mac-related issues. With Clean My Mac, you can clean your computer of system junk, broken data and caches, find large and old files scattered across all folders, visualize your storage and find your largest space sources, delete malware agents like keyloggers, spyware, monitor network speed and available memory for the ultimate user experience. Use the links in the description box to check out their store and product page and just a disclaimer, I get a small commission out of it so your help will go a long way. Well, that sums up my desk setup upgrade and as always, being a design enthusiast, there's always an iteration cooking. Until then, check out this video of my 2023 desk setup. People of the internet, I'm signing out. See you on the next one.